Hey guys, Nuggetsilver7 here, and yes, it's the first time you're seeing my Fugly Mug, I know, but... And I'm going to be showing my first live reaction to Super Smash Bros. Crusade's V0.9.1 trailer. About time we get some information. So, I... Anyways, before we get started, I just want to say two things. Like, you can skip this part if you want. Like, just skip to the actual reaction link. I'll leave an annotation link right here. There you go. But, anyways... So, for those of you who are, like, watching the stream, and I use quotations for a reason, because, like, they were going to build, to broadcast it, but, like, they had so many technical issues, we had to wait an hour, like, more than that, I think, and, like, they just said, screw it, we're canceling the screen, we're canceling the stream, and we're just gonna put it on our YouTube channel in another hour, and so it has officially been an hour, and, like, I w and I had tons of like Twitch wait footage that I was going to put up, but since they canceled the stream, I was like, no. And second, I love Super Smash Bros. Crusade. It's just as good as SSF2. I'm not really sure which one I like better. I mean, like, and for those of you who think it's a contest, stop. Just stop. McCloud Gaming likes Crusade, and I'm pretty sure the Crusade team likes SSF2. So I just want to show my live reaction, and then I'll be on my way. All right, let's get this started. Hmm, nice piano. Oh, oh wait, these are the previous versions. Okay. Ah, 0.8.4, that my... F here, I think this is here. My first version. Now we have 0.9. Oh, uh, 0.9.4! What took so long? Welcome back, Crusade Team! Long time no see! Oh, hey! Is this a new stage? Hello and welcome to this very special Super Smash Bros. Crusade trailer. I'm Destination, and today I'll be showcasing some of the content you can expect to see in the next version of Crusade. Today, the Project Crusade team is proud to present the best Crusade has ever looked, version 0.9.1. <laughs> yes! Here we go! Visual improvements. Alright, I got my fedora pipe, Crusade Let's has go. received a lot of visual tweaks for this demo, and there are many more of them to come. There are just a select few of what you can look forward to in the next demo. Our results screen has been revamped, yeah, cool. new textures, and a more cool. dynamic camera. Shields have been given a smoother, more natural look. Oh, in hey, addition, the new pulsating animation makes them appear less static. Many particle effects have been added, leading the game to appear more visually interesting and putting more emphasis on the power of individual hits. Ooh. One large request we received was the magnification of our camera. Oh, you can rest assured that in right 0.9.1, the camera has been zoomed in and many, it's many and edited. Lastly, all the characters have received appropriate footstep graphics and sound effects. Oh. Now let's move on to Crusade's largest attraction, the characters. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Wait, Mirthry Sprite. Mirthry Sprite. The outcry over Crusade's abundance of low quality sprites and stiff animations has been heard, and we are actively working to remedy this issue. Yeah, I figured. Take a look at Mario, for example. The quality of the sprite itself is adequate, but the animations are lacking in fluidness. Yeah. In this version, we have worked to provide proper motion and fluidity to his animations to fix Ooh. the stiffness. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Mario intensifies! <laughs> Another noticeable improvement is Ness's up special, PK oh, hey, Previously, the move was sluggish and the finishing transition oh, was awkward. No? Now it's smooth, with oh, proper propulsion and an oh, improved yeah, smoke effect. There go. Yep. The final character we'll be showing for now is Ridley. His inelastic, four-frame neutral air animation was extremely choppy. It's now rotating smoothly. In addition, he also has a new forward smash animation. These are only a few cherry-pick examples out of very, very many. Keep in mind, however, it does take time to improve upon the characters through this method. When we eventually release the newest demo, not every character's animations will be improved at an even level. This project will continue for versions to come. Personally, I'm fine with some of these sprites. Character revamps. Marth? Visuals are not the only character improvements coming to V0.9.1. Many characters lack lesser attacks resulting in stale playstyles, while others simply lack proper canonical reference. With this demo, we've revamped a few of these characters to be more true to their roots, while also being fun and dynamic. 
Mountain, one such character is Ganondorf. Changing his moveset for this game was a step in the right direction, but not all yes. these attacks really felt Take right. Sakurai. His neutral B now inflicts no stun, allowing him to get a hard hit out there. But that's oh, hey. not all. It can also be reflected by any attack in the game, just like in the Ocarina of Time boss battle. With wow. each reflect, the projectile becomes bigger, faster, and stronger. <laughs> Ganondorf has also received some tweaks to other attacks and his playstyle. He can now float, allowing him better control of his aerial movement and greatly improving oh, his recovery. His down special is also no right. longer reaching no the as far, but providing constant hitboxes, not just that's win. Cool anymore. Our next example is Goku. Goku's Kamehameha has been the bane of many opponents. It was spammed thoughtlessly, effectively dominating entire matches. No longer will this be the case. Goku's Kamehameha wave is now a chargeable projectile. Its power, size, and range will depend on how long you charge the attack. With no charge, it is weak, short-ranged, and ineffective. However, charge it to maximum and it will be stronger than ever before. Goku has also received an attack set overhaul. Many of his attacks have been given more dynamic hit effects, sounds from the source material, and a general focus on combos. Come on! You're buffing Goku? What they consider broken? I'm pretty sure you're gonna One own aspect of Goku is missing after our latest sprite revamp, and it didn't escape the attention of our fans. We are proud to announce the return of Goku's Kaioken Final Smash, what? Dragon Fist. What was that dragon thing? That was awesome. Goku is not the only character with a returning Final Smash. We've also <laughs> given Ryu his Shin Shoryuken. Send your foe skyward with this powerful attack. With the recent release of Ryu in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, some fans may be curious what this means for Crusade. We have taken notice of the differences and brought in what we Wait, think are the best ideas from the console title. But we didn't just change Smash Ryu, Chun-Li Li and Evil Ryu have received the Smash 4 treatment as well. Focus Punch has been made much more dynamic, opening up tons of options through reversals yep. and cancels. Yeah. Rapid Jabbing has also been brought over. Projectiles will fly further the longer you hold the attack button. Oh. And special EX moves can be performed Street Fire styled inputs. Don't worry, you can still perform all the old Crusade methods of special attacks and counts too. Crash Bandicoot has also received a few upgrades. Many attacks have been tweaked for a more fast and fluid up close playstyle. His projectiles have also been toned down, further ascending an aggressive style rather than a range player. He's also received a brand new technique, the jump out of dash attack. This can be performed at a variety of timings, and it does not matter if the attack makes contact with the opponent or not. Use it to extend combos or quickly move around the stage. Character balance has also made progress. Necessary buffs and nerfs are present throughout the cast, so all characters will have a fair chance in battle. Thank goodness, I really didn't like the voices for Tails, Knuckles was fine. We will now reveal a brand new way to play Smash. This idea has been commonly talked about, but has never seen the light of day until now. Introducing King of the Ring. In this new versus type game, you will compete to gain the most points before time runs out. The way this is achieved is not by defeating the most opponents or collecting the most coins. Rather, you must remain in the designated area for as long as possible. When multiple characters are inside the zone, the amount of points you receive reduces drastically. But if you are the only one, points rack up fast. Sharing is not an option. During a team battle, the speed the points are racked up is not effective when teammates share space in the same zone. As time passes, the zone will make its way into a new random location of the stage, so you should always keep on your toes. It's sure to be a fun time with friends or the computer, so we hope you enjoy. Global gameplay changes. Crusade has also received global gameplay changes to bring it closer to the original games as well as to make it faster and smoother to play. Here are some examples of what has been done. Firstly, the size of the characters has been increased, and so is the knockback of all attacks. This makes the battles more concentrated and consequently more dynamic. Blast zones, otherwise known as KO boundaries, have been brought closer to accommodate these changes. We have streamlined the jumping system. Now instead of variable jump length, you can only either short hop or full hop. You can also initiate the air dodge much earlier, allowing you to use more natural and quicker wave dashes. Speaking of air dodges, they're now a part of the individual player settings. Every player can use a different dodge. Oh, hey, Still on the subject, our new air dodge has been tweaked. Instead of constant length, it differs based on your chosen character. Characters with limited mobility get the shorter dodge, while range of the swifter ones are longer. Momentum has received improvements as well. For example, players are no longer able to cancel out entire horizontal speeds after the hit stun ends. The ledge system has been majorly repaired. 
Inputs are no longer buffered when you grab one, giving them a less clicky feel. Players' collision masks are now in the right place as well. We've also implemented a brand new mechanic, grab taking. Inspired by classic fighting games, this mechanic allows a player to escape a grab before being thrown. If you face the opponent while they try to grab you and activate a grab yourself, both grabs will get cancelled. Returning from melee are the special bonuses. They do not only appear within classic mode, you can also view them in the ordinary versus matches as well. We have a lot of them and we'll be adding more. Will you be able to find them all? There are lots of other changes we've done, but putting them all here would make the video way too long. However, there is one more thing we can't ignore. In some of the older versions of Crusade, you may have noticed that the game recommended you use a controller to ensure an improved experience. The issue is you can configure this? the gamepad within Crusade itself and had to turn a controller to keyboard software such as Joy to Key or X Pattern. We are happy to announce that this is no longer necessary. Controller. That's right, Crusade now has proper controller support. As you see here, a GameCube controller is being configured in the new mouse controlled controls menu. You can map two buttons for each button mapping. In addition, you can adjust sensitivity for the analog sticks and the shield button. It's very easy to set up. Just be aware that for certain controllers, such as the GameCube adapter for Smash 4, you still need to install the necessary drivers to your computer in order to oh, use the controller within that. the game. But we didn't just include controller support and leave it at that. With well, controllers now supported, necessary, necessary steps were taken to make controls feel better than they ever have before. Returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee, you can use the light shield to make your shield bigger and more durable at the cost of receiving more pushback and stun level. The strength of the shield is adjusted by how far you press the analog trigger. In addition, you can also tilt your shield with the analog stick, covering vulnerable parts of your character. You can also adjust your walk speed depending on how far you tilt the analog stick. Also with analog, you can air dodge or air dash at any angle. Players are no longer restricted to only 8 directions. Some special moves have also received upgrades with controller support. Fox and Falco's up specials can launch at any angle you want. PK Thunder also benefits from this as well since you get full control of the projectile, making it easy to be accurate with. Top jumping and platform crouching are also easier to perform with analog sticks. And with the C-Stick configured, you are able to enjoy controlling the menu's background to your heart's content. Yay. We're also including a new item that helps you take complete advantage of the controller support. Oh no. Oh, the Ultra Hand. Introducing Ultra Hand. This classic toy dates back to the late 1960s. Developed by Nintendo, it was a commercial success that helped to propel the company out of its financial troubles. Used to grip objects at a distance, this classic toy now extends its way in the crusade. When you use yeah, this item, it will extend a great distance and attempt to grab anything in its path, like a grappling hook. Pull yourself close to an opponent and attack, but that's not all it can do. You can also grapple the walls, ceilings, and even tether to a ledge. The possibilities are far-reaching. Get ready to grapple with this new item when the next version of Crusade drops. What day? Man, this could be good. Making its first appearance in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, the Balloon Fight stage floats into Crusade. Although it first appeared on an official console, this version is a little bit different. It only features one possible layout, rather than a random configuration. However, all of its hazardous features make a return. This stage is more than just hazardous terrain, however. Flipping the hazard switch will do more than just remove the fish and the flippers. It will also remove the wraparound boundaries in favor of normal KO boundaries. The stage layout itself will even change, favoring a more competitive battle. Change the stage to suit your tastes. Single player, here we go. The upcoming build has been significantly expanded in the solo mode department. Classic returns to 0.9.1. It's reminiscent of melee classic mode, which is linear and where battles are interrupted by minigames. However, we have introduced a few twists to the formula. Firstly, the layout of the stage is changed depending on the chosen difficulty. Easier modes feature less stages and less enemies. The further you up the difficulty, the more sophisticated battles become. Another big change is cooperative classic mode. You can now take on Master Hand in the Horde of Fighters either alone or with a friend. Two player classic also features an exclusive minigame. We'll be announcing more about this at a later date, so stay tuned. Classic mode isn't the only solo edition though. Stadium modes are making a return as well. 
Aside from break the targets and board the platforms, a variety of multi-man crusade options are making an appearance as well. Bend off hordes of enemies in 10-man, 100-man, 3-minute, 5-minute, endless, and cruel crusades. Sweet. Okay. When's the release? Yeah, new character. Yeah, yeah. Yup. New challenger. That's it. Okay. No release date? <laughs> Fine. Well, that's... That was nice! <laughs>